what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to simply walk you through how i set up my email broadcast um these email broadcasts have 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 been responsible for bringing in so many appointments um with clients um than i can even count like i get appointments every week just from this one simple strategy and it's it's the most important in my in my in my professional opinion you know as you're as you're out there running ads or or as you're out there just building your business you know on social media posting organically and and really trying to get attention to your product or service um you have to be capturing leads, right? You got to be running. You got to be. You got to be putting out landing pages to capture leads. You got to be giving away something of value up front for free to capture leads. So, assuming you guys are doing all that, what happens after the lead is captured? Like, what happens after that part, right? That's where most people drop the ball. They they forget the fact that, or they forget the importance of nurturing the lead and 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 staying top of mind and continually communicating with that lead via email, right? You're not going to do it through phone call. You're not going to do it through a text message. You're not going to do it through the direct message on, on social media. You're going to do it through email marketing. And that's why a lot of people, they, 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 they try to Mickey Mouse this part. They try to go out there and get free softwares. And, and I get it. Everyone's in a different financial situation. I totally get it, but you got to step your game up, man. If you're going to really be, be, marketing your business online. If you're going to be building something on social media, you have to be running the right tools. I use Karcher for everything, right? It's for my landing pages, my email autoresponder, my online calendar, my affiliate marketing. I use it to, to host my membership course. I use it to host my videos. So I do it for, I, I use it for a lot, a lot of different things. So if you're into online marketing, if you're into building something on social media, there's a 14 day trial, click the link below profit with Karcher.online. And you can set up a 14 day trial and, and really practice and play with this software that I'm about to show you. So what I'm going to do is, is after I capture a lead, right? Let me, let me kind of just walk you through this, right? Just so you guys can visually see what I'm saying. Once I capture a lead, you know, from, from any landing page, like, let me just show you some basic landing pages. Um, this is all, you know, pertaining to real estate, but it's the same damn strategy for anything, right? So if I was, if I was marketing, if I was a real estate agent and I was marketing a listing online, right? So many times I'll click on that image or that post and it takes me to a full-blown website where there's a million things going on, right? 15 different listings, buttons to the, to, to contact, meet the team, directions to the office, all this crap going on on your website, right? What we need is a web page. So if you're going to put out anything on social media, if you're going to put out anything online, make sure you have the ability to capture a lead. And these fancy websites are exactly that. They're too damn fancy and they don't get to the point. The objective is to capture a lead. So as you build your business, the objective is to capture a lead, to get exposure for sure, attention, exposure, to build your social credibility for sure. But on the back end, it's to capture a freaking lead and you're going to do it with a landing page, right? So this is a simple example of a landing page. Um, that person comes here, they enter their name and email and that lead is captured. So when that lead is captured, that lead is going to go onto a list, right? So that's Kartra. It, it, it houses all of my leads on a specific list um, for whatever, you know, page I'm, I'm out there promoting. Um, and, and, and when they're on that list, that's when you can tie it to a sequence, which is AKA an email autoresponder. So that's Kartra, right? My email automation, my email autoresponder. So what I'm able to do is set up a handful of emails that automatically go out the moment that that lead opts in. A, a, an email can go out tomorrow. An email can go out immediately. An email, I can set it to go out every other day, right? A handful of emails that are nurturing that list. Now, what about days that I just wake up and have a random idea or a random thought, or I think of a new strategy and I want to share it with that list. That's a broadcast. That's when I can come in here and automatically shoot out a, a random email. And that's a broadcast. And, and that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Broadcasts are super, super important because as you set up a sequence, the automated emails that go out, those are, those are, those are good, right? That's how you're going to nurture that list. That's how you're going to leverage automation, right? So you don't have to do anything, set up a handful of emails once and let it, let it automate, let it drip on that lead over time. Right. But again, 
based on the timing, make sure those are evergreen emails. You don't want to have an, an automated email go out 17 days later talking about a certain event when that event passed last year, right? So when you're setting up automated emails, you have to be very careful on, on the fact that whatever time you don't, you want the emails to be, to be, to, you don't want them to be date sensitive. Okay. When you're setting up a sequence, when you're setting up automated emails that are going to trigger, you know, every other day or every day or however you want to do it. Um, so that's the sequence. That's the automation. But again, today, what I'm going to show you is the broadcast. Whenever you're, whenever I randomly think of something or whenever I put out a new, a new YouTube video, that's kind of when I do it as well. Whenever I drop a new YouTube video, I'll, I'll shoot out a broadcast email to get it to a certain list and, 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 and maybe either get more views on that video or get more appointments. And so that's kind of the strategy. And the whole point of today's video is that this is how I get a lot of my appointments um, is by sending out either sequences, automated emails that go out for sure, um, or just a random broadcast email that I'll send out maybe maybe a few times a week, maybe three times a week. I'll shoot out a broadcast email um, because I have a new YouTube video where I'm teaching you know a certain subject or whatever, um, and I really think it'll bring value to that to a certain list inside my inside my Kartra. So um, so I'll shoot out a broadcast. So today. What I'm going to do is I'm dropping a YouTube video, right? I have a new YouTube video that's dropping in about a half an hour. Um, and so that YouTube video sits on this page. So here's a page. So in here, I have my communications. I'm going to go into broadcast. That's where I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my, my, my setup and how I set up a broadcast email. But in my pages right here, in my pages, that's when I'm able to create a page. So here's what I did. I'll, I'll categorize all my pages, right? So this right here, this broadcast conversion ad setup, I created a page one time, right? Created the page one time. And now what I'm able to do is just simply because it's part of the same campaign, because it's 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 in my broadcast category and, and these are one-off emails that I send out. What, all I got to do is create the page one time and then I'll clone it. And that's what I did over here. I cloned it, right? I cloned it and then I'll go in there and I'll just simply do some basic edits to fit today's message, right? To fit today's broadcast email. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll simply tie that to the email that I'm about to send out. So I already edited and updated this page right here and that's this page right here. So I'll simply just change out the the, the title, right? Change out the title. In fact, the, those... Um, well, it's all good. I'll do that later. But um, there's a title, right? Facebook video ads. That's this video that's going to be coming out um, here in a, in, a, in a few minutes. Um, and then and then what I'm doing is so so here's here's what's going on. Okay, here's here's what's going on. After you capture a lead, right, you have to continue to bring value. So if you're a real estate agent, if you're an insurance agent, if you're a freaking dentist, if you're a, a landscaper, if you're a digital marketer, if you're a freelancer, I don't give a damn what you do. If you're trying to build a business, right? And let's just talk about small businesses. If you're a small business owner, online, you know, e-commerce, whatever, dude, whatever. If you're in the business of capturing leads and, 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 and getting appointments, okay? So I'm talking to you service-based businesses. If you're in the business of, of, of servicing clients, nine out of 10 of you guys actually will shit probably 10 out of 10 of you guys are in the business of appointments, right? Appointments are everything to your business, right? We need appointments. We need to get people on the line. We need to talk to people, right? Appointments. You're building a solar company. You got to be, be getting people on, on the phone or on zoom, right? So what I do is I'll simply continue to bring value after I've captured that lead, right? Again, either in a sequence or through a broadcast, which is what I'm going to show you. But the whole purpose, the whole objective is to continue to nurture that lead and bring value. And so the way I do it is I'll do a lot of it in video form. So I'll just simply create another page. I'll clone another page and simply slap my video on it. Now, because I'm also building a YouTube channel, this is my YouTube video. So right when that person plays it from here, then that's that that's coming straight from YouTube, right? I embed my YouTube link on my Kartra page, right? So over here is because I'm bringing value, because I'm nurturing that lead, because I'm, I'm staying in touch, I'm communicating, I'm staying top of mind. That's what I'm doing. And because I'm doing it via video, that make, that's what makes it even more real, right? That video captures that person's attention more than anything, right? So 
as that person clicks my email, and I'm going to take you through the whole setup, they're going to be coming to this one page. Now on this page, here's what's going on. I got, I got different buttons up here right now. Now we're not talking landing page. Now we're talking more of a website, more of a, more of a web page, right? That's what's going on over here, but, but it's all linked for me. So up here is just a couple links over here, a couple links. Um, but most importantly, what I'm doing, let me refresh this page. What I'm also doing is I'm keeping their attention right here. So rather than taking them straight to, to, um, to YouTube, I'm taking them straight to a page where I'm keeping their attention and I'm getting them to see one button. And right when they click on here, that's when that calendar opens up. So I'll nurture that lead, you guys. I'll bring value to that lead, right? And then I'll have, I'll have, I'll, I'll take them straight to a page where, where I'm giving them the opportunity to schedule a call. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. So I'll, I'll clone a bunch of these pages. I just got done deleting a bunch of them, older ones, um, because I'm starting a whole new campaign here. In fact, that's what I got to do. Also, let me, let me, let me come in here while I'm here because I noticed that my pixel is not on this page, right? So let's go ahead and fix that problem. And let me just grab the pixel from this other page um, since it's the same pixel. And let me show you how I add my pixel um, to my page. So this is a, a the other page, right? That I actually cloned, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, SEO parameters, and I'm gonna grab my pixel from here. I can easily go into Facebook, right? Actually, I'm sorry, it's under tracking. I could easily go into Facebook and grab my pixel there, but I can easily come over here because it's already there. And when I cloned it, that pixel was supposed to come over and it's very weird that it did not, but I'm glad it didn't because it gives me the opportunity to show you guys how I do it. So actually, you know what? Shit, I'm over here tripping. This ain't even the page I'm actually, no, it's this one. It's yeah, it's this one. I got to get it on this one. Okay. Give me a second. So here's what I do. So I'm going to come into this one. That's the page I'm going to be running through the broadcast email. And I'm going to just make sure that my pixel is on it. And the way I even test that you guys is through, is through a, a free Chrome plugin, which is called Facebook pixel helper. So Google that. Facebook Pixel Helper, and that sits up here in the top where all these plugins are, and that's this one right here, Facebook Pixel Helper. But the reason why you want that is it gives you the, the ability to test your pages to make sure that the pixel is firing, um, to, make sure the, to make sure the pixel is installed correctly. And for some reason, yeah, it's right there. So maybe just something's going on with the pixel helper because for some reason it wasn't firing, but let's just save it again. Save progress. Publish live. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll just simply grab this link. This is the link right here, which is the same link that I already have open, but we'll just do it again. Okay, so that's this link right here. Let's go ahead and do that again. And that pixel helper right here at the top should light up. And if it doesn't, then something's wrong with the damn pixel helper. Yeah, something's wrong with the pixel helper because my pixel's on there for sure. But for whatever reason, the pixel helper is not tracking it. Um, there we go. There we go. Just took a few seconds. There you go. Okay, so, so. Back to what I was saying, a few things that's going on over here, okay? Number one, I'm, I'm bringing them straight to this one page where I'm keeping their attention. I'm driving their, I'm driving their, their, their click to affiliate links. This is how I get people on Kartra. So for those of you that are into affiliate marketing, this is how I'm getting people on, onto Kartra. They're coming to one page. They're able to see these different things. This takes them straight to my, my YouTube channel. But if they click on landing pages, email automation, online calendar, like if they click, then I'm simply taking them to my affiliate link that shows them more about Kartra, right? So, so this right here, bringing them straight to Kartra, that's how I promote Kartra. That takes them to the landing page part of Kartra, the email automation, the online calendar. Um, so I'm, I'm able to get them, get them, um, 
to click on my different affiliate links there. I'm able to track them with my Facebook pixel, right? That's super, super important. I'm able to keep their attention on the video since I'm not taking them straight to YouTube. Their attention is staying right here for as long as I possibly can keep them. And I'm providing a button that gives them the ability to schedule a call. Okay, simple page that I just clone over and over and over. When they click on that, boom, it takes them straight to my calendar. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk you through the actual setup of the broadcast. So in Karcher, all you got to do is click on my communications, hover over communications and click on broadcast. That's where I'm at. And then boom, I'm going to simply come over here, click on the green one. And this broadcast one is how to run Facebook video ads. Okay. And this is going to go to a small list of, um, of clients that I have in this campaign. Um, so I'm going to create, I'm going to click on create, and then I'm going to come over here. And this is the simple setup of a broadcast. And again, the broadcast is a one off email. Could I put this in my email sequence and let it automate automatically go out for sure. But at that point, when I set up my sequence, I wasn't even thinking about it. So again, I'll just come in here, throw out one quick email. And again, I do this a few times a week, and this nets me a few extra appointments per week um, just from broadcast emailing. So the people that this um, um, broadcast email is going to go to is a smaller list of TSFSB clients, which is that one right there. Okay, so I'm going to send them to this list right here. Now, this setup, it's going to go subscribed. It's going to go to people who are subscribed to this list and does not have tag, which is coaching clients, okay? So whoever's on that list, which it should say the same, yeah, 78. And again, you guys, it has nothing to do with a big list. Like what I do, what I do, um, I would say maybe, maybe once a week, I'll scrub my list. I'll take out bounced emails. I'll take out dead emails. I'll take out emails that, that, that were wrong, right? I'll scrub my list. That's why I don't have thousands of people on a list. I literally have a few hundred because they're the, they're the most engaged few hundred and they're all correct emails and they're people who open my emails, right? So I don't have thousands of emails of a bunch of random shit in there um, like some of you guys do, right? You have all these damn freaking bad emails, right? All my emails are damn good and and, and the open rate is ridiculous on, on just a few hundred. So this one small list, man, I get appointments every damn week from this small ass list, right? So you don't need thousands of leads, man. You, you really don't. You need to provide value. You need to be capturing the right type of lead um, and you need to just simply stay in touch. And that's going to happen again through via, or that's going to happen via email automation. And that's what we're, that's what we're talking about here. So this email will go to people who are subscribed to this list and do not have that tag. Okay. So save a next single email. And this is the email. So I can, I can write, I can set this up basic text and go through the basic text setup right there, or I can go advanced and in the advanced, I can go design templates full templates, and I can use all these different templates that Karcher already has available. All I got to do is click drag and drop. And that, and that, let me just, let me just do it for you guys. And that whole entire block, that whole entire template will come over. And all I got to do is freaking click edit, edit the thing, edit the thing, edit the thing. And boom, I could simply use the template to freaking you know, do whatever the hell I want to do. That's simple. That's so powerful. That's freaking, that saves a person a ton of time. Or I can simply, you know, work off of, work off any of the templates or I can, I can, and I, and I can change it to my liking. Right. And then I can save it or I can just delete the whole thing and then just use maybe parts of it. Maybe I just want to use this part. Then boom, I could just use that part. And then, and then maybe, maybe I can come over here, text and add another block of text boom, and start writing it from there. Maybe I want to put another headline down here. So boom, I'll take this, I'll drag this over. And then I can drop it wherever it says drop your block, I could drop it right there. And then boom, start. So I can make this shit look pretty if I want you guys. Um, the thing about emails is you want it to, 
you want it to 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 look as 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 plain as possible. You don't want it to be all fancy. That that's that's one thing you want to keep in mind. The more fancier, the more you look like a corporate brand. And 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 depending on what you're doing, that could be cool. But at the same time, if you're a smaller guy like me, like you don't need all that shit. Like keep it simple. Keep it clean because your open rate will be will be much much higher. Um, so what I do is I have I have my templates. I have just one simple template that I go off of, um, and it's this one right here. So super super simple. Some text, a simple freaking email signature, my image, and and my social media links down here. Simple 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 simple. So here's what I do. I just simply edit, and I'm I'm gonna write out some text, and then here's what I do. So I'm going to write out the text and then I'm going to grab the link for my page and that's what they're clicking on. So all I do is I simply, I'll write out a little, little bit of text and then the whole call to action is to get them to that page. And that's it right there. So I'm going to upload the image because I have a different image and normally I'll match the image of my YouTube video for that day. Um, and it's this one right here. So all I got to do is simply... When that person gets here, they can click on the image and it takes them straight to this page over here. So again, I'm able to Facebook pixel them, right? My pixel is tracking everything. Boom, there goes the pixel, tracking all that data of, of that visitor, right? And then I'm able to keep their attention on this one video. Um, and then I'm able to drive them to click and schedule an appointment. So let me finalize this email over here. So there's the image. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply put um, in the headline, what I use a lot is the dynamic variables. So I'll use their first name for everything. And then I'll, and then I'll, and then I'll put, I'll put, you know, first name, I'll put John. Um, um, this is, let me actually have you, John, have you intro, introduced yourself? Okay. Have you introduced yourself? Okay. So I'm going to put, and let me write this out, you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So this is as basic as it gets, you guys. Now, let me get to the page so I can copy the link at the top. Okay, so we copy that. And then all I'm going to do is I wrote out some basic text, right? Now I'm going to, hi now I'm going to hyperlink everything. So I'm going to come over here. I simply change the color to blue. Anytime I hyperlink something, um, I'll change it to blue. Okay, so this right here, I bold it, I change it to blue, and then I hyperlink it. Actually, let me move this down. There's the hype, there's the link, and then boom. So when they click on here, step three, boom, it takes them straight there, right? And then I'll do it one more time. I'll do it, actually, I'll do it a couple more times. I'll do now for step three, let's do it here as well. We'll change the color to blue. And then we'll hyperlink it. So there's that, boom. There's that, boom. Okay, and then one last one. Watch here. Okay, we'll bold that. We'll bold that, and then let's do that again. So bold. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, so we bold, and then we change the color to blue. Damn, why is it taking that whole shit? Um, okay, so let's change the color. Oh, damn, wrong color. My bad. Okay, so there's that blue. And then I'm going to hyperlink it. Bam. Okay. So there's that you guys watch here. Okay. That's the freaking email. That's the email. So look, have you introduced yourself question, right? And that's why with your subject lines, make them catchy, make them short, make them freaking catchy. I mean, shit, there's another word, make them catchy. John, have you introduced yourself? When you get that in your inbox, you're gonna be like, what the hell? Like introduce myself. What the hell is this guy talking about? Right. It causes that person to it gives it, it it gets that person curious and it makes them open the damn email right which is the whole freaking point so have you introduced yourself 
And then boom, here's step three. Step one was customizing your social media links. Step two was running the like ad. Now for step three, it's time to introduce yourself. Here's a video I recorded with my friend and client, Gabriel, who is a top producing realtor in Los Angeles. I'm walking him through how to set up a Facebook video ad and target his local area. I hope you get value out of this one. Watch here. That's it, you guys. And then I hit save and next. And then I don't need any automations right now. So just save and next and then send now. So I save, I set, I click on yes, and boom, that email went out. That email went out to 78 people. And now look, I'm not gonna, I don't, well, first of all, as you, if you guys have been following me, and if you haven't followed, if you haven't subscribed, man, subscribe. My name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency, um, fired up about online marketing, um, going into solar as well. That's power. That's all the links in the description. So I'm going to be running a lot of Facebook ads to get solar clients only because the money is so freaking huge. Um, and it's such an amazing product. Um, so if you guys are into affiliate marketing or, or, or just making, making extra income, Look at some of the links in the, in the description. But if you're new, man, subscribe because I'm dropping videos on this all the time, either running Facebook ads for clients or running Facebook ads for myself. And Kartra is just the icing on the cake. We need software. You need landing pages. You need email autoresponders. You need an online calendar. You need all this type of stuff. And I just happen to use Kartra for it all. So there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Um, so look, if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't edit shit, right? So look. I haven't paused it. I haven't, there ain't no editing going on. Um, so all I got to do is come over here to analytics, go to broadcast and look, man, it's only been, it hasn't even been one minute. Let's see if anyone has opened the email. So I can come over here to broadcast analytics and I can go and track today. Look, three opened it already. Look at that, dude. It hasn't even been a minute. Three out of 78, which is a 3.8% conversion rate, open rate, I should say, not conversion rate, but open rate. Um, and that's it right there. So boom, I come over here, I can click right there and that's what the email looked like. So that's what's going on you guys. And that video, look, it's 10, 10 07. That video just went live seven minutes ago. So that's a broadcast email, you guys. That is how I get extra appointments um, throughout the week. I'll just continue to bring value. I'll drive that click uh, via email, auto, via, via email, right? Whether it's, whether it's automation or whether it is a broadcast, it's the same thing. I'm driving them to a page where it's me bringing value via video um, and also giving them the ability to click and schedule an appointment. That's how I do it, you guys. So again, if you're new, man, subscribe, stay in touch, drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Over now.